time to repair my cast net. Three of my braille lines are broken, and let me show you the rookie mistake you could make and the easiest way to repair this. First, and quickly, the rookie mistake you could make is to take the broken lines, and you can see I've got three of them here, thread them back through the horn, and then just tie it to the other part of the broken end. And that is going to not work out because now the lines will be shorter than all the others. Because the amount of line you take up in creating your knot will destroy the length. So the first thing you have to do is make these longer. Now I like using 50 pound test because that's the uh, thickest mono I have that is easy enough to make a knot in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a four foot section of it and I'll tie it using a uni to uni knot in, at the end of these. And the reason I use four feet is so I'll have plenty of room to figure out what the right length is when I get to the next step. So let me get that mono on here and then I'll show you the trick about making sure your length is exactly correct. Here are the knots, uni to uni, and what I'll do is I'll put a dab of super glue on here to make sure I hold them. The next thing is to make sure you have an equal number of braille lines going through each of these holes. And once you've done that, now the hard part is trying to figure out which line connects to which torn line down at the bottom. And there's a little bit of luck in that, but obviously you've got to feed these through here and then go down to the bottom. To make it easy to find the new ends, I put a little piece of tape around and then I feed that through the horn and into the net. Now when I do the next step, it'll be easy for me to find these. Now you need to hang this so everything hangs loosely. So what I do is I run a cable tie through the horn and this piece and then I'm going to hang this from the rafters of my garage. If you don't have a garage, use a tree. Now you can see that it's hanging all the way down and the net is fully extended. The reason you want to pull down on each of the existing braille lines as you walk around is that the one that is broken may be tangled in the net and by pulling on it you can ensure that you're going to find the broken one. Like here I found my first broken one. I'll mark it with tape. It's broken off very close to the lead line and then I'll continue till I find the other two. You really have to examine the lead line carefully. Here's one that's broken off right at the bottom and I missed that on the first time around. That's why you got to mark where you start with a piece of tape so you don't just keep going around and around. So I've got one more to find. I've gone around this twice and I've only found two of the broken lead lines. So now what I've got to do is I've got to look at the distance between attached lead lines to find the one I'm missing because clearly it broke off right here at the lead line. And I found it right here. And what I did is I went from a known one over and I know I've got six pieces of lead between each braille line. So in this case, you can see that I've got a lot of lead, so I'm just going to count over six pieces, and then that's where I'll make the mark for that third missing braille line. Now what I'm going to do to be able to pick the right repair is I'm going to run my hand up a good braille line to see which hole it comes out of, and then I will pick the repair line closest to it. I'm sure it probably really doesn't matter, but you know, I'm obsessive compulsive. Now when you look at your braille lines inside the net, you can see that it's not a straight tight line down to the lead line. There's a little bit of slack in them. So right here is where I need to attach this. So I'm going to just eyeball a little bit of slack and then I will tie it off down here on the bottom and then that line will be repaired. Once I get done tying the knot, and I just basically used a bunch of half hitches, I'll put some super glue on there to make sure that the knot doesn't come unraveled. Then I'll do it with the last two lead lines, and then this thing will be repaired. I'll go out and do a test throw and make sure it's good. Now while I've been doing this, I've noticed a few other tears in the net, and I've got another video that talks about how to fix that, and I'll link that up right here. So, got to keep this thing in operation. These things are expensive. 
if you've got a better way to do this, boy, I'm all ears because my braille lines rip and tear all the time. Thanks.